I really enjoy playing bad girls. I mean, bad girls, I think, are much more fun to play than good girls, you know? Uh, it's one thing to live it, but it's, it's more interesting to play women who have lots of conflict within their life. You are a big liar, okay? Because I have a ring right here. Oh, I must ask for that back. Uh, I, uh, you know, all right, the engagement is off. In time, you will see that this is the best thing. In time, you'll drop that, and I'll come to your funeral in a red dress. I just think it's such a great movie. I think it's a, a movie that leaves you with such a good time. It's not like you walk out of a movie and you just forget it and you go, okay, now what else will we do? You think about it and you talk about it and it really starts to make you laugh and smile right from the beginning. They say we're young and we don't know. When I first met Cher, she was married to Sonny. Uh, they were living in a house in Los Angeles that looked like the Castro convertible showroom. <laughs> she was reading love comics. And she had dolls with skirts and stuffed animals on her bed. I really enjoyed the first couple of years a lot. And we had a great time. And then all of a sudden, we became Sunny and Cher. We were kind of no longer Cher and Sunny. It was always being Sunny and Cher that took up almost all of our time. I understand your mother had a special kind of record that would turn just about anyone off marriage forever. Yes, my mother was married three times to my father and five times besides that. I can't imagine, I can't imagine why my mother married my father in the first place, but to marry him three times seems like a special kind of penance, you know, so I can't figure it out. I, he never was that appealing to me. So what's your news? I'm getting married. Again? Yeah. You did this what before it didn't work out? But the guy died. And what killed him? He got hit by a bus. Yes! Don't you just hate the holidays? weeks of partying and you feel like a real blimp. Even your ankles got fat. For a long time, Cher was famous for being famous. Nobody it was not her acting people talked about, but her body, her outrageous clothes, or her taste in men. Just listen to the names in Cher's little black book. Sonny Bono. Well, I mean, my, my strong opinion on Sonny Bono is that um, I think our relationship is the, is the definitive love-hate relationship. I mean, we we were the best and worst of everything that that I know about relationships. Gene Simmons of Kiss. Oh, Jeannie. Um, Jeannie's a pussy cat. I mean, I I can't. You know, that's what comes to my mind. Jeannie was just. Jeannie was the easiest person I ever lived with. You know, he just he was just fabulous. Mr. Rhythm and Blues, Greg Allman. Greg's a nightmare. I mean, you know, he Gregory had a has a great heart and had a great capability for being a fab fabulous person, but uh, drugs have just, you know, blown his life away. I'll leave out a few. Tom Cruise? Uh, well, you know, I, I have nothing to say on Tom. I've never even publicly said that we have been together, neither has he, so if neither one of us are going to admit to it, I don't think you have the story. That's a secret, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you a, a personal question? Sure, what have these been? How many tattoos do you have? Mm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And where are they? All over. Why don't you date some of the older Hollywood legends, the Marlon Brandos, the Jack Nicholsons? Oh, well, Jack and I have been friends for such a long time, it wouldn't even occur to me to go out with him. But I've been asked out in, in the last ten years by two older men, and both of them were married, and I didn't really see too much, uh, you know, it's not too much of a future in that. So that I don't really know exactly why, but for some reason I'm not that appealing to older men. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! She has the kind of woman who can give any leading man quite a workout. In Moonstruck, you almost feel sorry for Nicolas Cage. I'm in love with you. Did Nick Cage get tired of you slapping his face? No, but I certainly did. I really hated doing that, and Norman kind of really wanted it, you know, hard. And so I was, like, doing it. And it, originally it was only supposed to be one slap. And then there was the second slap, you know, and, and it works great now, but it's a little bit difficult to do it. 